Welcome to Against the Odds. Today, we will be taking a look at the boxes with the best drip. These are the most stylish legends that dress as if they were in the Devil Wears Prada, with the greatest fits and styles that cannot be matched. Who says a fighter can't have style? If you're feeling this video, hit the like and subscribe button as 99% of you are not subscribed. Let's get right into it. Starting with featherweight world champion Nassim Hamed. It may be said that Prince Nassim Hamed's showmanship eclipsed his significant boxing legacy. Nevertheless, for what would he choose to be remembered? 31 knockouts in the 36-1 record, or a dedication to wearing leopard print boxing trunks and making grand entrances to the ring to dance hall reggae music that frequently lasted longer than the actual fights. The footwork, dance routines, and ring manner of Prince Nassim Hamed are best described as absurd and swaggering. He once arrived at the ring on a flying carpet and entered the arena while dancing to Maze. His nonchalance allowed his steeds to pour from his jabs as he defeated opponents. Next up, we got Smokin' Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier, a heavyweight, was a hard-hitting knockout puncher in the ring. But outside of it, he was a gentleman. Smokin' Joe just tipped his hat to one side, threw on a wide lapeled blazer, and quietly carried on while his rivals trash-talked and preened. Smokin' Joe's tailored clothing was almost as legendary as his bouts with Muhammad Ali. His style was serious, but with a flair fitting for a world champion. Although he squandered his money after his career was over, Frazier wore his hat on a slant and proved a perceived square could be hip too. It's hard enough to stand out in a room with Muhammad Ali, but Joe Frazier was arguably the only man in the world who actually made you take your eyes off the people's champ, thanks in large part to his trademark Stetson hat. There's nothing we appreciate more than a man who can turn a fashion risk into a uniform. 30 plus years after the Thrilla in Manila and Smokin' Joe is still rocking that hat. Muhammad Ali What's not to say about the greatest? He swaggered like a man with a lot to brag about, dressed like a boss, flew and floated like a butterfly, and stung like a bee. Due to his fighting prowess, his outspoken eloquence, and the fact that he always looked dang cool, Ali became one of the most recognizable and revered personalities of 20th century pop culture. Muhammad Ali embodied ease of movement. He exulted in his own accomplishment as he bounced about the boxing ring. He never felt the need to dress particularly stylishly, trying to allow his reputation as one of the best dressed boxers to speak for itself. He always wore simple clothing that was acceptable for the surroundings. Ali knew it worked for him, and even secured a Louis Vuitton ad in recent years. But what makes him stylish is that he stood for something greater than clothes. He could fight, he could talk, and holy hell could he dress. It's like bow ties and tuxedo jackets were invented specifically with Ali in mind. A modern day Greek statue in a shawl collar where every proportion was slaved over for hours to ensure his oh so pretty face was perfectly presented to the world. Simply put, he's the greatest. Period. Marvin Hagler. A nickname like Marvelous allowed Marvin Hagler to get away with wearing an ascot. That was a brave step. Being a southpaw, Hagler had an unconventional strategy in the ring, but he nevertheless looked sharp in pinstripe suits and tracksuit bottoms that we aren't quite ready to bring back. One of the few guys in history, Marvin Hagler, was capable of making both an Adidas tracksuit and a suit of tuxedo look like a suit of armor, which is appropriate given that some of the renowned middleweight best fashion choices include snapbacks with abrasively assertive slogans like No Mercy, sewn on the front for all to see. Jack Dempsey Although Jack Dempsey will continue to be contested as the greatest boxer of all time, his menswear game was unmatched. Dempsey had the good fortune to box during the Great Gatsby era, and his appearance is reminiscent of that time period when wearing a three-piece suit was required. The stereotypical image of pre-World War II boxer is one with slick back hair and a busted up face. When looking at photographs of Jack Dempsey in the 1920s, you might mistake him for a British aristocrat rather than a young boy who was raised in poverty in the midst of Colorado. The three-piece suits with impeccable tailoring, cable knit sweaters, and newsboy caps are all reminiscent of Tom Hardy and Idris Elba, two style icons. Floyd Mayweather Jr. When you've never lost, you gain a confidence that extends to the way you dress. No one has ever bested Floyd Mayweather Jr. in a boxing match, and he certainly dresses like it. He can show up to the Bet Hip Hop Awards in a Versace jacket and walks into the ring wearing python skin attire. If your nickname is Money, you better be the flashiest dresser, and Mayweather doesn't have an equal on his journey to stunt. Mike Tyson Mike Tyson in his prime was a ball of unbridled power, earning him the nickname Kid Dynamite. His personal style also built part of his legend. Tyson reveled in the excess that his career offered him, but equally intrigued people with his eccentric nature. The combination of both resulted in Tyson wearing flashy sports gear, dressing up like the king and champion he was, or getting cozy in a pair of sweats and New Balance sneakers. No wonder he's been amused to tons of streetwear brands. Joe Lewis Joe Lewis may have learned a thing or two about wearing a suit from his time spent in the military during World War II, 
the brown bomber's off-duty looks where flies can be. Any man can wear a polo, but it takes a keen eye like Lewis's to perfectly nail the proportions and transform a menswear staple into a best-dressed moment. That expertise came in handy when Lewis finally decided to hang up his gloves in favor of some golf clubs and broke the PGA Tour's color barriers in the early 50s. Amir Khan Historically, most fighters looking to up their style game in hopes of standing out immediately add striped or plaid suits to their closets. It's a technique that Conor McGregor has mastered, and now every UFC up-and-comer seems to be following his lead with varying success. But when you ooze as much masculine confidence as Amir Khan, the better play is laid-back put-togetherness with an occasional flair of high fashion. It's no wonder Floyd Mayweather dodged the speedy Brit for years. Alexis Arguello While the 70s and 80s were rampant with wide-legged pants and technicolor prints, El Caballero had a penchant for streamlined gray suits that would look right at home on a red carpet in 2017. The way he dressed his velt frame almost perfectly mirrored his style in the ring. You see, Arguello was a fundamentalist. On the surface, it all seems rather unassuming, but the tiniest of details are what can knock you out. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. I hope you like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.